says Carl. What in the world is that? I mean, they've never seen anything like it. Thanks for checking out our Westfalia. Stanley loves it. Mrs. D. <laughs> oh, you're acting like Stanley. I see. <laughs> I was trying to, but I think that's like <sighs> kangaroo. Maybe a kangaroo. Bunny. I don't know. Something. <laughs> but I was trying to be as cute as Stanley. Not yeah. happening. <laughs> I thought it was pretty cute. Hey, thanks for checking out our Bring a Trailer auction and our 1972 Westfalia. This thing is really nice. So cool. And it sounded like on uh, Clark Griswold where Cousin Eddie is like, get me something really nice. Yeah. You know, when really he was gonna get nice. him a present. Yeah, but this is it. Anyways, this thing is amazing. You can, uh, we'll walk around, it's got good history. You can check us out on our website. It's Denworks, D-E-N-W-E-R-K-S. You can check us out on our website. And if you need help selling something, which we are helping some nice folks sell this one. And as long as we can show everything, no smoke and mirrors or anything like that, we want people to know what they're buying. We would love to help you. And these are bat folks and they've been on Bring a Trailer for a long time. And we thank them for letting us uh, sell it for them so, and represent it. But anyways, you can check us out on our website and check us out on- Instagram, we have an Instagram page. You'll find us, Denworks underscore vintage underscore cars. But that is usually where we're first going to post when we get something new in the shop. So um, if you want to see things that we'll have coming up in the future, that's a great place to check it out. Yeah. And yeah. It's just a, it's just a good, it's just fun. Yeah. It's just fun. Mm -hmm. And then um, we also have a, a podcast. Mm -hmm. It's called No Reserve and you can find it on any podcast platform. And it's basically just us talking about our business, our life, our marriage, cars. Um, we have kids and pets and all that good stuff. So it's a little more personal, but heavily focused around cars too. So you can take a listen in if you want. Yeah, we have a good time mm -hmm. with that. So without further ado, here is our van. So we're gonna walk around it. I'm kind of doing it a little different today. We're gonna go in and out of it as we walk around. The paint is Sierra, um, yellow and this is the factory original color and actually I, I was going to start with the paint but i want to show you guys this first because this is this is killer i heard the story about it but we did not see this letter in the paperwork and the folks that i've had it got it from they bought it in 2016 they repaint it was already repainted but there was a few dings and stuff like that and he's kind of a little bit of a perfectionist and maybe a lot and he wanted really nice paint and it had nice paint on it, but he had, there was a couple little dings, little scratches from being used. And so he had it repainted. You'll see in the auctions, uh, it, re, it was uh, repainted. And he didn't repaint the top or the roof. And you can see the roof, the paint is nice. So it, it actually uh, matches. But anyways, the original owners in 1972, they went to Munich, Ger uh, Germany. And they obviously flew back there maybe took a boat, I don't know, but they flew back there and I heard the story that they traveled around Europe for a couple of years and then brought it back uh, to the US. But I didn't have any written documentation, I just heard the story. But this is really neat because I was looking through all the receipts. Here's the title, by the way. Um, Troy is a guy that owned it from 19, 
95, him and his dad. His dad um, was really good friends with the original owners who owned it from 72 to 95. And he and his dad got it first and then they had it together. But he wrote the original owners like, hey, we've, we still have the bus in our family from 95. And this was around 2008 that he wrote this letter. He ended up selling it in 2016. He did the majority of the restoration, uh, rebuilt the motor. Um, and But anyways, he got a letter back from the dad. And this is so cool, I'm gonna read, I'll take a little time. Joyce and I were thrilled to get your package. The best news was that you and your dad have kept the bus in such great shape. To really have loved the, or I really loved the bus and had tears in my eyes when Leland drove it away. This is this gentleman's dad. Since then, I've wondered about what happened to the condition. Has it, what, has it degraded on an Oregon beach or sold off to a young man who didn't take care of it, perhaps selling on a used car, car lot in Walla Walla, which kind of makes me think that it was sold uh, maybe in Washington. Um, maybe they live in Washington, I'm not sure. But the news and pictures of that is being used and, in, and is in pristine shape is delightful. He goes, this is, I was reading that and then I was like, oh my gosh, look at this. You know, we bought it in Munich, drove it to Vienna, the coast of Yugoslavia, Rome, Geneva, Paris, Amsterdam, and down the Baja de La Paz. Now, if you looked on a map and went down the, to La Paz, that is far. So thanks for thinking of me and best wishes in your career. Say hello to my old friend Leland. He was a big, uh, key, uh, a, a big help to me and Jeff. And this is the uh, Don, or this is the son um, who owned it with. Uh, um, it, they owned it together there, and uh, the son of the original owner. So they, they had messed around with it. Anyways, you really made my day. And his name's Don. So that is super cool. So killer. Super That's cool. Amazing history. And while we're at it, all the service receipts, engine rebuild, their uh, just different receipts and different stuff. You got a couple books and stuff. Uh, Oregon plates um, registered to 23. But anyways, that is a cool story. And they have the original owner right back and really cool. I had the guy's phone number and I tried to call him, but it was, uh, I couldn't get through there. So it'd be cool. I don't know if he's still around or, or not, but it would be cool to let him see where it was at today and, or at least his son, you know, so really, really cool. So anyways, now we're going to start with the front to the back. Paint is really nice. Very nice. This is probably one of the nicest uh, Westphalia is around, especially paint wise and body. I mean, a lot of gloss, very, very nice. You know, when you look down the sides, you know, you look down the side of the doors, you can see the reflection in there. Very nice. You'll notice that the emblem is not the original to the bus. This is from an earlier bus. It's bigger and painted the same color. Uh, some people will like that, some people won't. I kind of like it, so I think it looks good. And this is the last year of the step bumper. The newer ones have just kind of a blade, boring looking bumper, but this is the last year, the step bumper. We put new pads on it since it's been here. Um, the windows and everything were pulled out of, out of it. New gaskets, you can see the chrome and everything is really nice. New gaskets around the windows, new window felts everything just in excellent shape all the lights work just a really nice uh bus overall um we'll go ahead and walk through the interior you can see the new gaskets and everything underneath the doors not rusty very very clean you can see the dash pad is in excellent shape one little tiny crack right there, but the rest is really nice. Look inside the glove box. It does have an aftermarket radio, Pioneer, with a remote. The radio does work, but we have the original door panels and they weren't repops, and you'll see the V-dub stamp on them. 
I put new door panels on it, but I kept the other ones because they had speaker holes here and I did not want to cut speaker holes in this thing. So if you want to do it, you can, or put the other ones back on, you'll see the picture in the auction. I'm just imagining them driving around all Europe in this bus. <laughs> I, it would be cool to have pictures of that. Uh, very, very cool. You can see it's got a upgraded to a Jeanberg shifter. And those are really nice to have. We do have the original shifter to it as well. We recovered the seats and it has a, a new uh, horse hair padding in them. And you can see the tag is there. You'll see photos of it. I did take pictures with the seats out and everything's really nice uh, in there. No rust on this thing at all. There was a patch repair uh, on the floor um, and it's been painted over. And I was reading in one of the receipts, he was talking about a putting a new floor in it, but I, I think he is saying that he put this new floor in it because I don't see, I'm just talking about the um, uh, linoleum because underneath I don't see any signs of a, a new floor. Maybe he did. This was back in, um, in between 95 and probably 2000 but if it did it, it had a new floor but i don't i don't think so i don't you know it didn't specify really on there um you can see all the rubber gaskets again very nice all the jams have been painted but the paint inside the bus is the original paint okay so all the yellow that you see in here is the original paint but the doors are repainted here and the jams, but this is original paint in here. So I just wanted to point that out. You can see the little table here, it works. There's a little chipping right here. You know, there's little things you could do, a little crack there and a handle. There's little tiny things that you can do, but um, it's just a really nice bus here overall and you can see the sink camp mobile i don't know oh there you can see a little button there i didn't push when i was trying to open it you can see the table's nice inside the little closet there Little coat hooks back there just really really nice you'll see here it has a the top was replaced as well and it looks really good and it's got little zippers in there i'll hop up inside here real fast so you can see kind of take a look up here it's got it's caught up here as well you can see the paint is really nice the channels all look good, you know, all the way around. And just really nice, you know, that this has already been been done on the bus and it's something you're not gonna have to do. It's just nice because you can kind of just go out and enjoy this. Every time someone sees us driving it, they're like, that is such a cool bus. If you look here across the dash again on this side, again, in great shape overall seats were recovered back when they restored it you know obviously not a uh, factory material a couple little spots you'll see right here there's another little spot right there but overall everything looks good in here a little cubby down there i mean a lot of time and effort went into restoring this you can see here Left the tags, original paint there. All the gauges work as well. I don't want to knock this stuff all over, but you can see underneath. Looks good. You can see the spare tire area, which we do have a spare tire as well. Again, this is original paint inside here, so it does have some scratches and, and different things. You can see a little cubby here. The original uh, panels up here on the roof 
as well. And there's a little light, Leslie, if you wanna show. I didn't tell her what where it was at, but right on where the emergency flasher is. Yeah. Right next to it, I think on the, is that it? Pull that. Or may, maybe there's another knob. Oh, it's a twist. Oh, uh, no. Oh, you know what? Might have to have the key in. Oh, there we go. Yep. I was telling the wrong one. So that little light works too. And you can see up there, the dome light works as well. We'll walk around here. I might have her started up here in a minute. Sure. You know, all this looks really good. You can see the paint back here. Very, very nice. You look up underneath here. You know, just look at the paint. It's, in, it's really in great shape. Door shuts nice. Jealousy windows are nice. You know, let's look at the body. No rust down here. Underneath is in excellent shape. We'll take pictures, but it's really clean underneath there. So let's go ahead and uh, see how smooth that is. Look how nice the door shuts. And it's super quiet too, but we'll start it up. Just, just gonna show you the window. Just a little, just a little black stuff on there. Um, anyways, I'll go ahead and start it up. The engine is, I believe, original. Take a peek. Whoops. <laughs> Trying to do things with one hand. The original engine here, if you look here, you'll see CB. That is for dual Solexes for 1972. And this year is the first year of the bus uh, motor. And you'll hear once you turn the key on, the buzzer does work. So we'll go ahead and fire it up. Sorry, just a second. Okay. You have to be smarter than the key. Yeah, there's two keys and yeah. You might have it upside down. What? I don't know. Let's see. Okay. <laughs> we like to have fun during videos. I'm so sorry. So we did oh, this. Oh yeah, I had the key. Okay. I we just, did this. You had it upside down. I would like everyone to know I had it upside down and fiddling around with the keys. That is a Mrs. D error. Yeah. So this goes <laughs> up. In your mind, you think it should go the other way, but yes. anyways, we did that on purpose. So when you don't know how to do it, you can go back to the video and go, how did she start no, that? No, you'll be like, oh, I'm smarter than Mrs. D. She's an idiot. <laughs> no, you stopped that. <laughs> anyways, here it is. She's running. It doesn't blow smoke. It's actually a really good running. Little bus motor. I want to go ahead and fire this back up in that earlier video. It was kind of spitting and sputtering, but it was it was out of gas basically. The last thing started up. It was running on reserve, so you see here it runs nice. And when it is cool, um, it starts up nice as well. But it needs to warm up before you drive it. But here you can see it's Iowa nice, and it was just about out of gas. Basically, it ran out of gas. Anyways, I just wanted to show you that it runs good. Try to wrap it up a little bit. There you go. We got tail lights. We got brakes. Left. And we got right. And then reverse. You gotta push that button. And then just you look on the There's our reverse, so all that's working. I'm gonna take you around to the front real fast. We'll show you these lights. We've got headlights, marker lights, 
And then we got blinkers. We got left. And we got right. And they got bright lights. I think they're on the handle. Yeah, there we go. We got bright lights uh, too. So it runs really good. We're going to walk down this side and show you some stuff. So if you look down the side, look at the truck reflection in the paint. Really nice. You can see the marker lights work on the side as well. Let's see here. If you look around the wheel lip, really nice. The tires were put on in 2016. They're, uh, where did I see the size here? Now I can't see it on here. I'm messing up. They're Ranger R101 and the date code, <laughs> I just, oh, 185R14 and the date code, I know they say 2016. We'll look on the, on the front one. Some of the um, hubcaps have uh, a couple little dings in them uh, as well, but um, overall, in great shape. Look at the bottom of the rocker, very, very clean. Again, we'll take a look at the floors when we have it on the list. There's a date code right there. You can see 2016. So you can see a couple, couple little dings on a few little things, but overall nice. Look at the inside the jam, very clean. You can see your tags back here and you'll see some pictures on the auction as well. But look at how nice the seat belt is. Again, the seat was redone. Probably one of the worst things in the bus right here. You'll see the top of the um, steering wheel. It's been chipped off right there. So, and there's three little holes. I don't know what was put there originally, but um, you can see here, odometer says 55, 681. I don't know what the miles are 100% uh, um, on it, but overall, super clean. Look at the panel. Up above here, that's all original and in great shape. I love that you can look up there and just see the sky. Very nice. So again, it's it's a really, really, really nice bus. Um, and the thing is, it is no reserve, which is a little crazy, but it is no reserve. It's our style and it is gonna go home to a new owner and it'll be kind of fun to follow it the rest of its life whoever owns it next and be able to keep the the history um, and the story along with it so i'm glad that i found that piece of paper i'm going to keep that piece of paper on my computer so if it ever gets lost i have it so anyways thanks for taking a look and uh we're going to cruise it around hey thanks for cruising around with mrs d in the V-Dub Westphalia. This is just really cool. Very cool. Super cool. I think the last time I drove one of these, I was in college. Yeah, because we had a 64. Yeah. And it was we really, dating. yeah, it was really fun mm -hmm. to drive around and it was green and white. Yep. And so it's kind of fun to see you behind the wheel of one of these again. Yeah, it was very fun. So anyways, we're just out cruising around. You can see the odometer and the speedometer works. Of course, I'm doing this while she's on the turn. Yes. Go ahead and make the blinkers work. You can see the blinkers work over there on that indicator and then the bright lights. You might not be able to see it. It um, is there, it's just there. very faint. So everything's working there. You can see the emergency flashers, they work. And then we've got uh, wipers as well and this little knob here the light isn't turning on but that's for the defroster so we'll kind of look at that and it is a four speed you can see here one two three and i think we're in third, we're third right yes. now so um it shifts nice going to fourth real fast it's just a smooth running little bus and earlier um, I forgot to say when it was running, it was 
almost out of gas. So we've had to put gas in yes. since then. So yes. anyways, uh, we'll go ahead and put on the brakes. It actually stops really nice. It drives very, very smooth. No wheel shake or anything like that. And no pulling and stuff. So super nice to uh, cruise around in and we'll uh, cruise around a little bit more for you and check out some more stuff.